It's the Woke Report. I'm Michael Wilk, coming to you from Cleveland, Ohio. Asking the question, will Avengers Endgame break Titanic's box office record? Now, if unless you've been hiding under a rock, Avengers Endgame, the uh, penultimate movie of Marvel Studios Phase 3, uh, has been kicking ass at the box office with uh, well over $2 billion global box office gross and people are asking you know will it knock Avatar or, or even Titanic off as the top money maker well I don't think so and here's why if you look at the numbers for Titanic all right and this is box office mojo let me just highlight the, the global box office here okay the domestic total gross uh, at the time of release was $600,788,188 with a domestic lifetime gross of $659,263,944. Alright, so and uh, it had a release date of December 19th, 1997. Uh, ran for quite a while. The production budget alone was $200 million, and because the studio hyped it to the gills, uh, the total budget was probably, you know, at least twice, uh, you know, at least uh, a, a, another 100 to $200 million. So you figure, okay, it did pretty well. Worldwide, it did uh, $2,187,463,944. But here's the thing. Uh, you have to take in count, into account inflation. And I could be wrong here. Maybe this is the inflation adjusted total. I don't know. Uh, but if you take a look at Avengers Endgame, all right? Domestic total as of May 6th, 2019, and today is May 8th, you've got 631,987,456 and a worldwide box office growth so far of 2,238,487,456. All right. And uh, opening weekend was 357,115,007 dollars, which was 56.5% of the total gross. Now, if you compare this to Titanic, opening weekend, $28,638,131. And uh, that was only 4.8% of the total gross. Uh, but here's why I think that Avengers Endgame is probably not going to top Titanic, all right? Because uh, if you plug in that global box office gross for Titanic, all right? Assuming this, these are not inflation-adjusted numbers, all right? You plug that into the inflation calculator and it comes to $3,464,000,000.5, uh, yeah, so uh, rounded, rounded up. But, you know, basically that's the inflation-adjusted calculation. So, if Avengers is going to, you know, assuming uh, my math is correct, okay, because like I said, I, I could be wrong. Maybe Box Office Mojo did take inflation into account, uh, and you know, in this case, I would be talking out my ass. So, you know, don't, you know, if, if I'm wrong, feel free to to point this out. Uh, but if I'm right, though, all right, if I if I have not uh, misinterpreted the numbers, and the inflation-adjusted gross is not shown on box office mojo. Uh, I, I don't think that uh, Avengers Endgame is really going to reach that because what is the likelihood that this movie is going to pull in another billion dollars at this point? It's already been out for a couple of weeks uh, I mean, it'll probably stay in the theaters for a while. I mean, people are raving about this movie. It's big. It's epic. It's the, uh, you know, it's officially closing out 
uh, the Avengers franchise uh, in its current incarnation. Uh, you know, Spider-Man Far From Home is uh, slated to be the last, you know, basically the epilogue movie to uh, Phase 3 of, of Marvel Studios' uh, game plan. So, uh, you know, it, it could, th these numbers could change. All right. But, you know, if, uh, you know, if my calculations are correct, uh, th th there's only so much that, uh, I, I think this movie can make, cause I, I think it reaches a point, you know, where, you know, much like uh, the force awakens, you know, it made over $2 billion, uh, and still failed to top the original Star Wars uh, inflation-adjusted uh, figures. So I, I don't really think that uh, it's going to do that. Uh, it might uh, come close, it might match it, uh, or if it does uh, pass Titanic's inflation-adjusted numbers, uh, I don't think it's going to be by much. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, because you have to take into account uh, also the net profit because, you know, again, look at the production budget on Titanic. $200 million, uh, roughly. I mean, obviously, it could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more. Uh, you know, and then, of course, the money spent uh, marketing and distributing the movie uh, to theaters and getting people uh, in the theaters to, to watch it, you know, through advertising and, of course, merchandise costs and all, all that other stuff. Then you take Avengers Endgame. The production budget alone was $356 million, which obviously it's more than made that back, but uh, you know the money spent marketing this movie probably brought it to, and, and this is just a ballpark guess, all right, I could be wrong about it, but the total production budget when you factor in marketing and distribution probably cost in the ballpark of around 500 to $600 million. Uh, like I said, I could be wrong, all right? I, I would have to uh, do a little bit digger, uh, deeper digging for this. Uh, but, you know, just based on my understanding of uh, how much, it, 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 as a general rule, uh, when you make a movie in Hollywood, uh, whenever you ask for a budget, you ask for double what it's actually going to cost you to make the movie because you have to sell it and get it to theaters so usually you know it's half again the, the total budget is, is half again or, or double the the production budget so and this is what i was taught in film school so uh you know for considering the production budget alone not to mention what it probably cost to sell this movie and get uh and get it into the theaters uh you know, Avengers Endgame, the, the, the net profit total is probably not going to be as much as you might think. I mean, obviously, it'll still be, you know, a huge success. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, people love the movie. They're raving about it. Uh, you know, the the global box office gross alone. I mean, e even if you take into account, uh, you know, a, a $500 million total budget, it still wildly broke that. So, uh, uh, so you know, you're probably looking at a, a net profit take of probably a billion dollars you know once you factor in all the all the costs and everything um you know just because you know the foreign markets uh, they, they take a much bigger chunk of ticket sales you know so you know again that's uh, you know that's the uh, complexities and uh, uh contradictions inherent in uh hollywood accounting uh, uh, unfortunately that's just the way it is um you know, because uh, they're all about perception. You know, you, you you don't want to be perceived as a flop, even if you technically made your money back at the box office. That's why Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, even though yeah, it turned a profit, but it didn't turn nearly as big a profit as it should have, uh, because of the perception that uh, it, it cost so much money to make that. Uh, you know, the, the, the net profit at the end of the day didn't justify it. So, um, but let me know what you think. Uh, do you agree? Disagree? Do you think I'm full of it? Uh, do you think uh, I'm onto something here? I want to know. 
If you like what you've heard and you want to hear more, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload new content. And if you want to help support the channel, keep the lights on, head over to our Patreon or subscribe star page. Doesn't have to be both. It can be one or the other. We can't do this without you. Until next time, this is Michael Wilk for the Wilk Report saying take care, good night, I'm out.